Today we're going with Duncan Mocha Latte Protein. Coffee on coffee. Dude, this is the worst part about protein powder, is finding the scooper when you first open it. Let's see if this hits just as hard as the last. It's really, really coffee E. Coffee E. Is that a word? My mom made these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Ooh. Let me tell you. I'm not even a huge fan of pumpkin, but like, I don't know what it is with the chocolate chips, but it's doing something. If you guys didn't know, I still stay at home. You guys could probably tell that though by uh, the tutorial background not changing over the course of like five years. I'm doing that right now to kind of just save money. There's a lot of things that I want to build business-wise that are like expensive, like shake sauce. I have to pay a developer, that's expensive. I'm building a new Ooh, I, I'm gonna blur that out, but I'm building something really cool. And there's just a few other things that like cost money to make. And I'm just trying to grow as a business and build something really, really cool. And right now just saving money is just so important to me. And I guess a lot of people ask then how old am I? So I'm 23, turning 24 next month, November 6th. And it looks like the channel is about to hit 100K around that time. So my whole goal is to get there for myself for like my birthday. The coffee's kind of growing on me though. Coffee with coffee protein powder. A lot of coffee, but it somehow works. Sky. <laughs> You're so scared of the camera, dude. It's all right. She's not used to me having the camera out. And then I have a little dog somewhere around here. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> this thing loves to bury itself in my room. Let's see, I think it's right here. So, what's up, dude? I'll let you sleep. <laughs> I'm also saying, that's why in some of my videos, my bed isn't made. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> it's this dog, the bed was made before this but she just decided to bury herself. The vibes. Let's do a little POV, you're a YouTuber. So every day recently I've been checking my comments and you guys seem to be really liking these vlog style stuff. And uh, I just like going through, checking for suggestions, seeing what the people got to say. Now what kind of bougie crib do you have with a sauna? <laughs> and then someone replied to it, in my country, we have more saunas than people. Also every house has a bigger sauna than his. Damn, that's a flex. That's gotta be like, what? That's Sweden, right? I think Sweden's like known for their saunas. I look back at some old comments on his channel, came a long way, Brian don't get enough credit, he changed the game for real. Damn, that's love. Comments like that are so cool. Like, like you look at like my old YouTube videos and it's like my first few tutorials, like I was just so uncomfortable on camera and like I was like literally scared of the camera, which is just wild. And now it's like, it's still a little awkward sometimes, but you know, you get used to it and you kind of evolve and learn and see the evolution. And it's also cool to see that other people also see it. There's a lot of comments about stuff in my room. Maybe I'll just have to do like a full setup tour video and just kind of show everything. That way I don't have to answer all these. This guy asked to break down a specific video, see what he's got. This is what a comic can do, you know, real time I'm checking. Oh, uh, this is what he's talking about. Damn, these zooms are crazy. It's like the seamless zoom transition. Look at these zooms, bro. They're so hard. Switch the flow up a bit. Yeah, with the brown, that looks crazy. You're deep in the Discord right now. Everyone's just kind of showing some videos right now. Join up the Discord, I'll have it in the description too. In that fan edit I did for Pulling by Lil Yachty, I did something really similar to that seamless transition. It's the same exact concept. I executed it a bit differently. So I'm gonna show you what I came up with that's not the seamless transition, but it's pretty similar and we can apply the same concepts to get a seamless transition. When you play that, you can see the window comes into frame very similar to how like the watches and the eyeballs were coming into frame. But instead of blending, I just had the car window roll up just cause I thought it would be a cool play on like the car window, you know, coming up. So basically I just had the car window keyframed up. And then inside that pre-comp, it's literally just a freeze frame you can see here with a mask around the window and it just goes up like that, kind of how a window would slide up in a car. And that's all pre-composed and then just animated to transition like this. And it's pretty smooth. Now I'm gonna be taking the same concepts, but instead of having the window slide up, we're just gonna make it look a little bit more seamless and blend together. We have two clips just like this. Let's duplicate the second clip and then right click and go to time and then freeze frame. That's just gonna make a freeze frame of first frame in the second clip. For the transition, something smooth, maybe like 10 frames backwards. We'll drag that out, cut it right where it goes to that second clip. So now you can see the transitions like that. It's a freeze frame for a little bit. Now we just need to animate it and make it look smooth. So to do that, we're going to just mask out the window or whatever you're zooming through. And then we're gonna go to the mask settings and instead of add, we're gonna go to subtract. That way we can see the clip behind. And then we're also going to feather that just a bit to make it look a little bit smoother. And then duplicate the layer and we're gonna go to the mask settings on the top layer and then instead of subtract we're gonna go to add and i'm actually gonna bring that below the layer and then we're going to also just expand see how there's like that little gap there 
we're just gonna go to the mass expansion until we don't see that any longer. So now again, it's just that freeze frame. So now we need to animate the window kind of fading in. So then under the transform options, I'm gonna use opacity on this window that's masked out. Now it's slowly fading in that clip. Also, we can use a color corrector effect, maybe something like color balance on the background clip. And we're not gonna do any keyframes yet, but we're gonna make it just look a little bit more like this next clip here. So we just kind of wanna match the color scheme. You can pretty much use whatever color correction effect you're most familiar with. I honestly don't even use color balance that much, but I just figured it'd be an easy way to keyframe. So I'm just trying to match the reds a little bit. Let's add some brightness and contrast too. Now let's go to like right where it kind of starts fading in, maybe right around here, and then keyframe all of those values. That way the colors kind of slowly transform into that next clip. So then we're pre-composing this car and we can just name it car. And then let's open up transform options as well as turn on motion blur. Scale, position, and opacity are the ones I'm gonna be focusing on. And we can just scale this car clip up and then go right to the end and we're just resetting everything. And now you can see there's a little bit smoother of a transition already. See how we're slowly transitioning in. On the first frame, I like to have the borders of the window already in. That way it just kind of starts off and feels a little bit more smooth and fluid. There are some things you can do to this bottom layer. If you open up transform, you can like right before the transition starts, you can keyframe the position and scale and maybe have it scaled in where the window starts coming out. You can have it scale out. You could even rotate it or change the position just to have it like kind of feel like it's following. And then lastly, I probably can pre-compose the whole entire sequence add on some RSMB so it has that motion blur attached and then maybe even some like radial blur. That's just gonna blend the sequence here. So let's go to where it starts zooming out and change it from spin to zoom and let's keyframe it kind of like in the center. And there we go, we have a smooth seamless transition. I'd recommend if you're trying to do this effect, plan out for it, shoot objects that you can zoom in and out of. Like for example, in that video we saw, they obviously used eyeballs, car windows, watches, think wheels. They use a lot of like circular things and things that you can mask around. Having good footage for it is a majority of the process, honestly. It's really important to blend the footage. So this process right here, like right where it's blending, is where you're gonna wanna spend the most amount of time. Like you could spend probably 15, 20 minutes just matching the colors and keyframing the brightnesses and stuff. That way it blends a lot more. And it's just the longer you spend on it, the better it's gonna look overall. I would say to rate this one that I did, it's probably like a seven or eight out of 10. I could spend an extra 10 minutes just changing color values and blurs and stuff to make it look really dialed in. And that's just something you have to experiment depending on your footage. But basically, a majority of the stuff you need to do is just keyframe the transform settings, pre-compose layers, mess around with blurs, and color correction effects. You dial all of those in, you're gonna have a seamless transition that looks good. I think this is one of like those timeless effects that's probably never gonna get worn out. And as long as it's executed properly, you can see it in a music video and it's gonna look good every single time. It's kind of like one of those flash transitions or blur transitions that you can, you know, just see in every music video and it's never gonna get boring. It's a little bit more flashy version of that. Like I said, if you nailed this style, it's definitely a sought after thing that a lot of artists love in their videos. If you guys want more videos to watch, yesterday's upload was how to edit like Cole Bennett. We broke down some stuff from the Poland music video. And the day before that, we broke down how to edit like ESTG, Lil Dirk, similar to how Diesel Films and Jerry Productions do it. Peace.